Hello everyone, my name is Rafael Moreno and today I will be telling you a story about how a video that I and my teacher created made it to the Apple Store here in Chicago. So back in summer 2023, my broadcast teacher from high school and I had partnered up to create a video about a st my story of mental health and queer identity. So we had planned this video to be really good. So we took a lot of time and effort to put um, a lot of work into this video. Mostly like script writing um, came to play and also just like editing um, and just making the video look cool overall and very appealing to the audience. So we worked really hard and then around August of 2023, we had got um, the news from One Summer Chicago that we had been selected to showcase our video at the Apple Store here in Chicago. And to me, that was really amazing. And um, it was great to hear that, that those news because it meant that I was going to be able to share my story in front of a, like, a lot of people in a big screen about how mental health had affected my life, um, about how I was hospitalized, about how I dealt with self-harm, um, but also about my queer identity and um, who I identify as. Um, really got to share that message that, you know, us as queer people, we are just trying to make it through the world and um, just, you know, for people to you know, accept us and just see us as normal people, just like everybody else. Um, so we got to the Apple store a couple days later, um, that same month in August. And I was kind of nervous because I was going to have to um, speak in front of people in order to, you know, um, introduce our video. But for me... I used my um, anxiety coping mechanisms. I made sure to take deep breaths. And I have wore um, uh, one of my favorite scents that helps me calm down that day. So it just made me feel really relaxed and very, um, you know, very unafraid of talking in front of people. So I go up there and I present my video. Um, and I made sure to add a little message for why this video meant a lot to me. And I felt like it was really important because Mayor Brandon Johnson was there. Um, so I just wanted to tell everyone and let everyone know that we have to protect our queer and trans people at the moment. You know, there's a lot of terrible laws that are being passed that are affecting us in terms of like being ourselves and you know being able to just even walk in the streets by ourselves and you know um just be able to be who we wanted to be you know so i presented the video and everything went really well um it made me feel really proud of myself because really proud of myself and my and the work that me and my teacher put because like I said it's a story that's really really important to me and for people to just watch our video and see my story was definitely such a big moment and yes I, I did feel a little bit of tears because I never thought that this would ever happen to go to an Apple store in front of thousands of people. And at the end of it, a lot of um a lot of the participants came up to me and were happy that I shared my story about mental health and queer identity. A lot of people were like, oh, like I identify also under the LGBTQIA plus umbrella. And it just made me feel at home because there's actually people just like me. So overall, the experience was a 10 out of 10, and I really wish that I could do it every year. Um, 
And it was just like a big thanks to my broadcast teacher, Mr. Rodriguez. He literally made this story come to life with his editing skills combined with my editing skills. Um, we made a great piece of work and I will be posting um, the link of our video from One Summer Chicago um, just so you guys can take a look at it and, you know, see what we posted. Thank you.